Hi everyone, I'm Erica. I'm the Teen Service Librarian at the Delmont Gardens branch. Today we're going to learn about finger knitting. It seems complicated, but I promise it's really easy once you learn the method. All you need for this craft are your fingers and some yarn. It's pretty nifty. Before we start, I want to remind everyone that supplies are limited and these crafts come on a first come, first serve basis. If you have yarn at home, you can follow along. When you pick up your a finger knitting kit at the Delmont Garden Branch. It's going to come with a ball of yarn that is about approximately 13 feet in length and written instructions. All you need at home are your hands. So let's get started. In your non-dominant hand, that's the hand you don't eat and write with, so for me it's my left, you put the tail of the yarn, which is the loose part that comes out of this ball, in your palm, in the space between your thumb and your index finger. You're gonna have the tail pointing towards your wrist. Pinch the yarn between your index finger and thumb, like so. The first step, the first thing we're learning is called casting. And this is what you need to do to cast. Loop the yarn that's hanging down behind your index finger in front of your middle finger, then behind your ring finger and in front of your pinky. You're going to want to keep this yarn a little higher than where I put it more here at the second joint of your fingers. This is important because it's gonna give you space to work with. You want the space, trust me. Now you're gonna loop the yarn behind your pinky, over your ring finger, under your middle finger, and over your index finger. That's the second step. We're not done casting now, because now we're gonna reverse the process. You're gonna go over the middle, under the ring, over your pinky, and you guessed it, we're gonna go right back under the pinky, over the ring, under the middle, under your index finger. So, starting with your pinky, and this is important, you gotta start with the pinky. I've had people start with here, and it doesn't always come out as nice. Starting with the pinky, you take the second piece of yarn, pull it up over your fingers. Go to the next one, do the same thing. The next one, do the same thing. If you have to bend your fingers, that's fine, because I have to do it. And then the next one, bring it over. That is casting your first row. Congratulations, you've cast it. If you find that you're having trouble with it, or you keep, you know, you're like, where is the string? That's fine, rewind the video, follow it again. I can't tell you how many times I had trouble learning this when I first started, but now I think I'm pretty good. And even I have trouble sometimes. I'm sure you will see the yarn fall off my finger at least once. So now you're going to pull this down. You're gonna notice as you work, the yarn kind of crawls up your fingers. So you're gonna start with your index, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, and bring it down. This helps keep everything kind of tight and it also helps give you working space. So now we're gonna cast again. You're going to go over the middle, under the ring, over the pinky, behind the pinky, over the ring, behind the middle, over the index. And once again, starting with the pinky, go over, 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 and over. And you're gonna keep repeating these steps over and over again until you have about two inches left on the ball of yarn that you got sent home with. What I sent you home with today, if you have a grab bag, is enough yarn to make a small bracelet, or if you have a cat, a cat toy, um, just monitor you know, your animal if you do that. And it's just really enough to get you started to learn how to do this um, and get you comfortable with it because you wanna be able to know the basics of a craft in order to build on it and learn different parts of it. Later in the summer reading program, we are going to actually have another finger knitting craft where you make a snake out of finger knitting, which is really cool. Um, and you can also use finger knitting to make blankets, scarves, hats. I've seen pillows be made, um, which I'm still not good at, admittedly. So you'll be able to kind of learn those um, and don't feel intimidated by, you know, me going quick at this part. 
It's not me being like, wow, I'm so good. It's just me getting to the end of it to show you how to cast it off. Uh, because nothing says not fun than having an unfinished product. So to cast off, what you're gonna do is make sure all these pieces are nice and tight. You see how I lowered it again? You're gonna wanna do that. Then you're gonna take the one piece of yarn on your pinky, lift it up, bring it over onto your ring finger. This, it's gonna feel familiar, is gonna come up and over. What you're gonna do then is just kinda pull gently, pull gently, and pull this piece here just to make it nice and tight. You're gonna take this piece of yarn, lift it up, bring it over. Bring this up and over. Pull gently, pull gently, and now you're gonna take this piece, go up and over, up, and over. You're gonna pull this forward. Then you're going to take your uh, the long hanging piece of yarn and pull until this loop is smaller, just to make it more easy for you to kind of work with. And you're going to put your fingers in here. You're going to grab that long piece of yarn and pull it through. Now you just pull until that loop disappears. That allows you to cast it off and it keeps it from falling apart. Nothing stinks more than pulling on something and having it all unfurl. Now this is really tiny, I know it's small, but with finger knitting, you'll be able to make bigger pieces. For example, I have this here, that's a single knit, it's tight, and you can turn it into you know, a bracelet, like I said, or a toy, or even a really cool necklace, which I'm not gonna show you because it's not long enough. <laughs> um, but you'll also be able to do bigger pieces, like this one here. Um, this uses two types of yarn, which we'll learn um, later in the month, uh, to make thicker, more like sturdy pieces of fabric, which can actually, something like this can be used to make, you know, a pillow or a thick blanket. So that is the basics of finger knitting. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you a lot. Please leave any comments or questions you have in the comments section. We'll be happy to help you out. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video where we learn how to make a zine, which will be really exciting from here at Delmont. I hope that you all have a happy, healthy, and safe summer. And I look forward to seeing you online. All right, take care everyone.